Hello and welcome back. Today we are going to discuss why Databricks and what is Lakehouse. We all know that Databricks is a data intelligence platform that is built up on Lakehouse. Now we need to understand what exactly is this Data Lakehouse and how Databricks utilizes this Data Lakehouse platform. Now if you have not seen our previous videos or playlist, I would recommend you to go back and watch them first. You can click the i button at the top. So to start with, let's first understand what are all the challenges that we face in a normal day-to-day -day data platform in an organization. Let's first understand what is the first challenge for a normal data platform. In a normal data platform, you have a lot of tools to deal with a lot of problems. So consider you want to do data warehousing, you have a different tool. You want to do ETL or you want to run your Spark jobs, you have a different tool. If you want to save your data into Data Lake, you have a different tool. You want to do orchestration for means if you want to run your data warehousing jobs or ETL jobs, right? you have to have orchestration. If you have AI and ML solutions, you'd, you'd be using a different tool. And just to do the reporting purpose from the warehousing, you should be using some BI tools or dashboards, right? Other than this, you might also be using a lot of stuff. And to handle the security and the lineage or the metadata for throughout your data platform, you need to have a governance also set up, right? So governance would handle the security of your data and it would also handle what is the lineage and the metadata that you have to deal with your data platform, okay? If you are considering a lot of tools for all of them individually, problem is all of them needs to integrate with each other properly. Because if they don't integrate, for example, if your BI dashboard does not integrate with your data warehousing solution, you will not get a proper result out of it, right? Again, your governance does not work with all of them, then there will be data leaks and security issues in your data platform. Okay, so this is the biggest challenge when you have a data platform. If you have to handle a lot of tools, the challenges increases. And to rescue you from this exact solution, Databricks is there. So Databricks is usually a data intelligence unified solution. All of the tools that you require for a data platform are bunched together, tightly integrated and are available in the same data platform, which is Databricks. Let's understand the second challenge Databricks help you mitigate, which is proprietary solutions, or sometimes we call it as vendor lock-ins. So consider you are using a proprietary solution for data warehousing. Right. So when we say proprietary solution, it means some software solutions which will give you the benefit of data warehousing, but you have to store data in their proprietary format. It means they would encode the data in their format. Right. So that's a lock-in for your data. So you cannot directly communicate with your data or you cannot take out your data without using their data engine. So whenever you need to read your data or you have to do some solutions on your data, you have to deal with their data engine to communicate with your data, which is actually your data encoded in their proprietary solution or proprietary encoding. The reason is this is a vendor lock-in. This means without this vendor solution, you cannot get and read your data, right? So this is one of the challenge that usually a data platform people face. And to help you avoid this vendor lock-ins, Databricks provides you with open source solutions. Now, what do we mean by this open source? It means your data would lie in your data cloud platform. And in some open source format, it can be Parquet, it can be CSV or any format that you prefer. But the data would be lying in your data cloud platform and in an open source format. It can be Parquet, CSV, Avro, whatever you like, ORC, right? And on top of that, you will have a data engine called Delta Lake. And this Delta Lake is an open source platform. Okay, It would communicate with your data and it would provide you the output. So consider tomorrow, if you don't like Delta Lake, you can just go ahead and take out your data from directly from your Data Lake and you can just go ahead and use some different vendor. And this is the openness that Databricks provide you. There is no vendor lock-in, there is no proprietary solution. Your data is available with you in your Data Lake with open source format encodings. Let's understand the third challenge, which is data silos. So in a normal data platform, you have Data Lake, you have data warehousing solutions. The problem is you have your data lake where your AI or ML solutions or your ETL jobs are running in order to get the data out of data lake or write the data inside the data lake, right? And your BI tools are dealing with the data warehousing solutions separately. Now, if you want the data in data warehouse, you have to take out the data from the data lake and populate it in a different data warehouse, right? So you have the same copy of data lying here and again the same copy of data which is more refined or more things, it is still lying in the data warehouse. And this is why there is the same copy of data at different places. And owners of the data are also different. So there can be a different owner of data. Here, there can be a different owner of this data, right? So the same copy is available with two different owners now. And they are maintaining those different copies of data. And this is one of the different biggest challenge that you have in a normal data platform. So to handle this scenario, Databricks has merged both of them, which is your data lake and data warehouse. And they have created a new thing, which is called data lake house. 
which is basically nothing but data lake plus data warehouse. So now you can keep your data in your data lake in some open formats, which can be Parquet or CSV as per your requirement. And then on top of this, you can have an engine called Delta Lake, which will basically communicate with your data lake and provide you with the solution of data lake house. Now, what is the benefit of Delta Lake? It basically gives you all the properties that you have for a RDBMS system, that is AC transactions. You can have versioning of your data. You can have transaction logs. You can go back and restore your data from some different versions. You can have audit history. So there are a lot of properties that Delta Lake House provides you on top of your data. So now your single data is lying in Data Lake and that can serve the purpose of both your AI ML and if required, that same data can serve your purpose of BI. Right. So you don't need to move this data out of your data lake to some proprietary solutions for data warehousing. You can use the same data in your data lake, use the functionality of Delta Lake and use it for this different purpose, whether it is AI ML or BI. And this is the biggest benefit of Data Lake House. Data Lake House gives you the benefit of both data warehousing and data lake on the same platform. And in Databricks, Data Lake House is powered by Delta Lake, which is actually an open source solution. Okay, now that we have looked upon all the challenges and understood how Databricks help you mitigate those, let's understand the Databricks Lakehouse platform completely. So in the bottom, you can utilize any cloud, which can be Azure, GCP or AWS. So Databricks works with all the three platforms, whether it is Azure, GCP or AWS. So you can keep the data in any of the data lake you wish for any of the cloud provider. And to empower the data lake house on top of your data lake, Databricks uses an engine called Delta Lake. Now, this is the main core functionality of Delta Lakehouse. Provide you an unified governance, Databricks provides you with one more open solution, which is called Unity Catalog. Now, this is for governance. Again, on top of this, Databricks has built something called Data Intelligence Engine. Now, the benefit of data intelligence engine is it would be governed by Unity Catalog and you can get insights of your data with the power of Data Lake House on top of your data lake. And this is why Databricks is now a data intelligence platform. Now, on top of all this, you have all the three personas and their tools. So whether it is data engineering or data analyst or data scientist. You have all the tools available for all three personas. So for data engineering, you have jobs or workflows for which you need notebooks or you can have Spark scripts. So everything is being used by data engineering. For data analyst, you have Databricks SQL, you have dashboards. And for data scientists, you have AI and ML solutions that Databricks provide. So if you see, this is the complete data lake house architecture of Databricks. You, on the top, you have all the tools stack. And after that, you have the data intelligence engine. And then you have a central governance, which is Unity Catalog. And you have Delta Lake, which is the data lake house engine. And at the bottom layer, you have the data, which is lying in your cloud. So this data would lie with your cloud. You can select any of the three clouds, which is majorly available. So you can select Azure, you can select GCP, or you can select AWS. And this is how the complete data lake house architecture has been built. So let's just recap and understand what is the data intelligence platform. So it is nothing but data lake house plus generative AI. So generative AI is something which gives the data intelligence platform its power for natural language, right? So it is nothing but data lake house plus generative AI. So generative AI would allow enterprise to get insights of their enterprise data, right? And what is data lake house? It is nothing but data warehouse plus data lake. So now you understand why Databricks is called a data intelligence platform and what is the benefit of data lake house and what are all the benefits Databricks provides you out of the box. So this was all for today. In our next video, we are going to look upon what is the architecture of Databricks. Till then, keep learning, keep growing, keep sharing.